So in this video, let's discuss what this means right here and what it has to equal and how we can prove it. So the idea, this is saying, if you have three objects in your set, let's say we have three letters, A, B, and C, and you're choosing all three of them, how many ways can you do that? That's what this is asking. This is a combination problem, and you're looking at groups of size three, and you're picking three objects. Well, if you have three letters, the only way to pick a group of three is to pick all three of them. That's the only way to, to get them all. The only way to have the entire group in your group is to pick everybody. There's one way to do that. So we pick one as our answer. That makes sense, but can we prove it? So let's say, let's calculate it first, then we'll prove it. So you have three, choose three. That's just three factorial over three factorial, n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial, which is zero factorial. Zero factorial amazingly needs to be one, right? That's the definition we're gonna use. And you're left with three factorial over three factorial, which is one. It works out. In general, the definition of combination, n choose r equals n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. But what if we're looking at the special case here where we have n objects and we're choosing n of them, right? So we have n factorial over our r factorial is n factorial, and then we have n minus n factorial here. Well, look at that. We've got n minus n, which is zero. So we have n factorial over n factorial times zero factorial. And again, the definition of zero factorial keeps popping up in these examples. That equals one. And we have n factorial over itself. So, and we're not in danger of di dividing by zero or falsely proving something because n factorial can't equal zero. Even if n is zero, we just show this right here. Even where n is zero, zero factorial is one. And I'm not sure about negative, so we can assume n is positive. So now I'm getting curious about the negative n values. Anyway, my rambling can stop here. These cancel out. They both divide to one, and that's our proof. All right, hope that helped.